we know we're not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it for everyone that sees us. We're the face of the Navy. My name is Seaman Ernest Cherwin, and I am with the United States Navy Ceremonial Guard drill team. My job currently is I'm in charge of the drill team personnel and coordinating, choreographing, and making sure movements happen within our drill team. Daily routine changes from day to day. We have certain days where we'll have fallouts, uh, which would be an equivalent to missions, assignments, if you will. Some days, a normal day will consist of four to five funerals. Other days will consist of just a normal drill routine. It's kind of learned by trial, if you will. It's hard to think about, hard to comprehend. You're throwing a 12 to 15 pound rifle around the air with a bayonet on the end of it. It's not sharpened, but when it's spinning and moving around your head, around your body, if you will, at 60 to 80 miles an hour through the air, it's possible that it could gash you open pretty good. We do have people that hurt their fingers all the time. Yeah. I mean, it happens all the time. This is probably like the third time someone's done this. Being physically fit within the drill team is a must. You're rowing, you're punching, you're throwing everything upper body for 12 minutes straight, nonstop. I don't think anyone that came to drill team came saying, hey, I want to be on drill team and I want to be the fifth best person. Everyone said, I want to be the best. Right now there's about 33 of them, a very hand-picked few select 33, and about only 10 to 12 of them will actually ever get to perform in a drill team performance. So with high hopes, all of them train on a day-to-day -day basis trying to get to be one of those guys that they see out there performing on a daily basis throughout the National Capital Region. Gotta go big or go home.